eBridge Online Self-Serve option allows you to easily set up your integration connections by following a few simple steps. Step 1 involves identifying the accounting package used by your business, as well as the integration connections you want to establish. Say, for example, you were a business using QuickBooks, looking to establish EDI integration with Ace Hardware. First, you would select QuickBooks as your accounting package, and next from the EDI connection list, you would select Ace Hardware as your trading partner. You'll notice as soon as you select a connection, the supported document types for that connection are displayed below. It's also important to note you are able to select more than one connection at a time, as well as more than one type of connection. So for example, you can set up EDI integration as well as CRM at the same time. Once you're satisfied with your selection, click Next to move to Step 2. Step 2 serves as a confirmation page to confirm your selected connections. A diagram is created to display your choices. The monthly cost for each connection is listed. And finally, the total monthly cost for your integration is shown at the bottom. After reviewing these details, click the Start Free Trial button to move on to Step 3. Step 3 involves setting up an account with eBridge. For the purpose of this demo, I have already logged in as a test account, but you would simply fill out the contact form here with your information and click Submit. Before your free trial can begin, you will be required to provide your credit card information, but as stated at Step 2, your card will not be charged until the end of your 15-day trial. So now we'll go ahead and enter some test user payment information to move on to Step 4. Once you reach step 4, your order will be confirmed and you will be prompted to download the installer for your connection. So you have the option to click the link to install it right now, and if you do so, you'll want to check the save file box and run the installer from your computer. Alternatively, if you'd like to download the installer at a later time, you're welcome to do that from your account page. You can do that by clicking your name up in the top left, and then click My Purchases. Now on the My Purchases page, you'll notice that all of our purchase connections are listed with a download link beside each. However, you are only required to download one file, as each link is pointing to the exact same QuickBooks Bridge installation file that was provided at the end of the transaction. Once you've downloaded the file to your computer, go ahead and open it. Make sure that you've read and agreed to the Terms of Service, and click Next to continue. You'll then be prompted for your username and password with instructions on where to find that. Enter your information and the installer will automatically start downloading software that it requires to complete the installation. Again, most of this process is automated, so we just sit back and watch everything go through. And once the first piece of software is downloaded and installed, eBridge will then be installed. Once the eBridge and QuickBooks adapter are finished installing, the next step involves connecting QuickBooks to the ePortal. Be sure to follow the directions in the wizard by opening your company file within QuickBooks first. Then, select that same QuickBooks company file within the eBridge wizard before clicking Next. So just to recap, you need to have QuickBooks open with your company file selected, and that same company file needs to be selected within the eBridge installer. So once you've verified both of those items, go ahead and hit Next. This will bring you back into your QuickBooks application with a prompt to allow the eBridge application adapter access to your business information. So you need to make sure you select the last option in the list, which is yes, always, allow access even if QuickBooks is not running. Once you've selected that, hit continue. Now you'll be asked for confirmation that you're sure you want to allow this access. So hit yes. And then you're given a confirmation message saying that the 
access has been granted. So once that appears, click done. Now the eBridge installer will connect and start pulling data from your business file. So let that run its course. And once it's finished, you'll be presented with a confirmation message saying that the installation and setup are now complete. It'll give you a list of all the tests and steps that it went through, as well as the option to open the README file, which is probably a good idea to get yourself a little more familiar with the program, as well as the option to configure your connections now. Uh, we're not going to do that in this video, but that would be the next step in the process to set up your integration.